Hello again, everybody. We're going to do more plotting with Plotly. And in this particular video, we're going to look at how to do subplots. So over here on the left, I've got a matplotlib plot where I've got three different trig functions on top of each other. So I have the sine function, the cosine function, and the sine plus cosine. I, I said on top of each other. What I meant was side by side from each other. Uh, these are subplots, so this is one row, three columns for a subplot. Now I'm going to scroll up and show you the matplotlib code to do this. Now this top block, I'm going to copy it while I'm here. That top block is just to set up the domain and set up the functions. And the plotting code is all here. So I set up my subplots, I do the first plot, the second one, the third one, and then I show it. So let's build that same guy in Plotly. If you need to, put me on pause and go through the matplotlib code. But really, this is the plot that we're going after. OK. So I'm going to show this guy. And here we go. So I'm going to import plotly.graph underscore objects as geo. Again, the common nickname. I'm going to paste in all of that stuff that set up my uh, domain and my functions and all that. And I don't need matplotlib, so I wiped out that line. That's perfectly all right. So I'm going to start by doing, normally I would start by doing something like figure equals graphic objects dot figure and open close parentheses. And at the very end, I'm going to do figure dot show. Now that would make sense if I'm going to do all the things on one figure. But in this case, I'm actually going to be doing uh, subplots. So what I need to do is I need to grab one more library. So I'm going to say from plotly.subplots import make underscore subplots. OK, and then I'm going to do my graphics object. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to, my figure is make subplots. Notice I didn't give it a nickname, so I'm just pulling this name exactly. So plotly.subplots is a sublibrary of plotly. Inside there is the command make subplots, and I grabbed it. And now in this, there's lots of things I have to do. I want this plot. So I want one row of plots and three columns. So rows equals one, calls equals three. And I think I'm going to leave it just like that for right now, but then we can do much more with it later. OK, so. I'm going to add a trace, add dot tr or add underscore trace, and that's going to be a graphic objects dot scatter, just like we've done in, in past videos, x equals x. That's this x is what I'm referring to, comma, y equals f of x, name equals f is the sine function, so I'm going to call it sine of x. OK, but after my graphic objects that scatter, I need to tell it where to go. So I'm going to say row equals 1, column equals 1. So I'm going to be in row 1, column 1. So that would be this guy, left hand 1. Now I can copy this and paste it. And now I'm going to change this to g of x. And g is my cosine function. That's row one, column two. Paste it again. H of x, that is my sine plus my cosine function. And that's in row one, column three. Now I should have a fig dot show hiding down here, and I can show it. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. What does it not like? Oh, I forgot my comma. Boom, boom, boom. So what I'm doing is in my trace, I'm adding my graphics object, comma, then I'm telling it where to go. So technically, I've got something like this, a comma separated list of three things, the graphic object, the row, and the column. Graphic object, row, column. Graphic object, row, column. Run it. And I get the same beautifulness that I get out of all Plotly plots. I can hover. I can zoom. I can go back to home. I can turn plots on and off. All of the same wonderfulness that I had with Plotly before. Now, but notice over here in the map plot, lib plot, I had an x-axis label, a y-axis label. I had titles. So let's build all that. Now, in matplotlib, 
I had to go for each axis and set the label and set the title and set the X and Y limits. There's something really nice you can do in Plotly with subplots, and it comes up here in your make subplots command. In your make subplots command, if you do shared Y axes equals true, they'll all be on exactly the same axes. So I'm going to just run that one, which I just did. Now notice that they're all on the same axis. So if I turn this one off, I don't get that annoying rescaling. Everybody's on the exact same axis I was before. So that's a beautiful feature that Matplotlib does not have, but Plotly does. I also can do column underscore titles equals. Now there are three columns, so I'm going to give it a list. So this is sine of x, cosine of x, uh, and then sine plus cosine. And that's going to give me my nice titles there. I've also got those same guys over here in my legend, so I probably should have named them something different. Whatever, it doesn't matter. OK, I can do a little bit more. This is all in the make subplots command. I'm going to do my x underscore title is x, and my y underscore title is y. And the extra spaces I put around my equal signs are just for readability. OK, now let's scroll up and see. Now I've got my y and x. And notice that the x is global for all of them. Whereas in matplotlib, I had to set the same set one for each one. Now the last thing that I wanted, let's see, I've got a minus two to two on my y range. So I can do that the same as I've done before, fig.update underscore layout. And my y axis, I'm going to give a dictionary where the range is from minus two to two. Oops, minus two to two. There we go. And run it. Now everybody's from minus two to two. And I just said y-axis, but that along with the fact that I was sharing my axes gave them the same axes. And so now I've got a beautiful subplot where I can do all of the typical things that I would do with a plotly plot. I can zoom in, I can change where I'm looking, I can do all the usual stuff. So it's a beautiful little Plotly plot. Okay, I'm going to continue doing more videos about Plotly. I hope this has been helpful. Stay tuned for the next one. See you there.